I was really affected by everything that was happening um, through COVID, through all of the racial tensions that were happening. But all of all of that darkness and ended up inspiring me in a way that I've never been inspired before. And I decided, what can I do with my art? I said, well, I, I dance, I teach, I have resources. I had to reimagine outside of the box of, instead of feeling conquered, unconquered. I began documenting all of these certain events and selecting ones and putting them together against movement and hoping that it would spark others to say, I can relate to that and I want to also do something. I also want to bring my voice to the conversation. We, as human beings, need that connection. And I'm just so glad that we didn't give up on the human connection. We need to be connected. That's why I say community. Um, we're part of a community whether we choose to be or not. I tell my students, it's how you decide to be in that community. I don't even consider Unconquered as a piece, I consider it a process. The work that you do in the rehearsal process, you have to then reflect on that in the class. They're writing essays, they're journaling, they are um, having moments in the, in the classroom where they have to literally do historical research, not just research that's typically given in the typical history class or dance class, but stuff that's relative to what's happening in the media now. I think you, you always want to meet people where they are, but you all are teaching me this history too is just as important to something that happened in the 1940s. And if you're willing to let the ego go and really come from a, a, a place of connecting with the people in front of you as, as, as human beings, then you're gonna, the sparks are gonna happen. I'm so thrilled um, to be here and to have the students to be so engaged and just, just, just full out. With all of our imperfections as a country, as a world, with all of our imperfections, there, we are a community. And if we're all able to give up a little bit of being right and just able to ac accept and then help to admit that it's okay to be wrong, but now how can we change and make it better? Then I think the students, myself, all of us, we've done it. I'd love for it just to spark, how can I make a change? How can I make a difference?